all get tired of waiting for the couple to kiss after an entire season. And that's why we've made a list of the top 10 anime where they kissed in the first episode. Number 10, Say I Love You. You know that one phrase that the devil whispers in your ear whenever you see that one unrequited love of yours? Say I love you, that is. Friends will only let you down, but a chance encounter with a persistent classmate might rewrite the rules on trust and love for a guarded girl. Scarred by childhood betrayal, May isolates herself in high school. A misunderstanding leads to a kiss with the popular Yamato who sees past her walls. As they date, May struggles to adjust to friendship and expresses her newfound feelings. <laughs> I've sat and tried to figure out what's so special about this anime. It really doesn't bring anything new to the table. You have your awkward girl, the hot guy who seems to like her, and some competition for his affection. Pretty standard formula, but the execution is insane. Although it's not everyone's cup of tea, I love how it makes me feel warm while I watch it, because you just know what happens in real life. Hey, if you can't chat with the popular girl in your class, then you can chat with a popular girl from anime. How? Introducing Talkie AI, who are the sponsors of today's video. This is Talkie AI, an AI chat box with over a thousand characters of different personalities and voices. Do you need alternative universe simulators? Something to get your tasks done? Or you might want to chat with an anime character right away. Yeah, you can do that too. To prove my point, let's chat with Rin Tosaka. Hey, I always wanted to ask her if she was a Sundre. What? No. I'm just not very good at expressing my emotions, that's all. Yeah, that's pretty much what a Sundre would say. Well then, let's ask her who her favorite servant is. I'm quite fond of Saber. She's strong and kind, and even when her emotions get the better of her, she pulls through in the end. I admire her tenacity. I mean, Archer's going to throw a tantrum soon enough, but this is pretty accurate to the anime since Rin always had her eyes on Saber. Just like I did, you could chat with your favorite characters or create your own character and chat with them. Hey, I just asked Marin Kitagawa on a date. You want to go on a date with me? Yeah, sure. <sighs> I'd love to. And I asked your forger not to kill me. Oh, don't worry. I was just joking. I would never hurt someone innocent like you. And this is just two characters from their database. As you can see, there are thousands more for you to chat with. Just click on the character you want and start chatting right away. You can download the Talkie app for free using the link in my description and start chatting with your favorite anime characters for free. Thank you Talkie AI for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the countdown. Number nine, My Little Monster. <laughs> What's the best counter to use against a Sundre? A complete delinquent. You see, our girl Shizuku only cares about her grades, and that's why most of her classmates hate her, while her boy Yoshida is a violent troublemaker who was suspended after getting into a fight right at the beginning of the school year. Together, these outcasts get into a relationship that will reshape everything that they know a life is about. <laughs> This series is known as one of the best romance anime out there. Even with just 13 episodes, it grabs your interest and hooks you so hard that you can't help but just watch the entire thing. It may sound corny at first, but believe me, it's anything but that. It has aged so well that you could hardly believe it aired more than a decade and a half ago. If that's not a sign of a good series, I don't know what is. Number 8, Campione. Does the world need saving from mythical disaster or are the real monsters hiding in plain sight? Teenager Godo gets swept into a battle between gods disguised as natural disasters. He slays a war god and becomes a reluctant god slayer tasked with protecting humanity. Do 
Kepiore is a unique anime that appeals to its audiences through how it portrays its scenes and its extraordinarily vivid details. To expect an elaborate storyline, unexpected plot twists, and incredible character development from an itchy harem show would be one of the greatest mistakes you could ever make. I came into Campione with no expectations at all. Character development was actually very good for the short amount of time they had. Etchy scenes were drawn pretty well, especially the parts where they shared knowledge about gods. The fan service was exceptionally good too. Overall, this series was surprisingly pleasurable to watch. Number 7, Scum's Wish. <laughs> Why do we always pretend to be happy? High school sweethearts Hanabi and Mugi hide a secret. They both love someone else. Hanabi pines for her teacher while Mugi crushes on the music teacher. Lonely, they find solace and a physical connection in each other, a bittersweet solution to their unrequited feelings. <laughs> Scum's Wish is one of those series that looks deep but will leave you feeling empty at the same time. However, I wouldn't say it's no good because it is good. It's one of those bittersweet stories that I actually like. It is an unorthodox and exceptionally well-written show with very interesting characters. It also has some very artistic directing in general, and even boasts some absolutely superb opening and ending themes. And while the story as a whole might still feel a bit implausible at times, it uh, nevertheless gets its messages across in great fashion. Number 6, Love and Lies. <laughs> Does love defy science? In a future with low birth rates, teens get government assigned spouses at 16. Average guy Yukari rebels, confessing to his crush Misaki, but a marriage notice arrives forcing him to navigate love, lies, and a curious assigned partner. <laughs> Love and Lies is a love drama that touches the heart. Right from the first minutes of the first episode, you can see where this story goes. And every episode is a roller coaster. It's the first anime I've seen that shows what true love is. And all the physical contact you want to have with the person you love, not in an exaggerated way, but being very faithful to reality. Of course, the art and animation for the series I felt was pretty good. And I especially loved the settings of the school and the various areas that the cast goes to in the series. Number 5, Engage Kiss. Sometimes love comes with a bite. Yeah, just sometimes, if you know what I mean. And in the luxurious city of Baron City, Demon Exterminator Shu barely scrapes by despite his business. His overzealous demon partner, Kisara, helps with chores, maybe a little too much as they fight off the city's demonic threats, hiding a dark secret from the citizens they protect. <laughs> Engage Kiss's very first episode hooked me. Waifus, great action scenes, top tier fan service, it was love at first watch. But it's not just fan service that kept me. Engage Kiss is one of my favorite anime in the season, and I'll definitely miss it. It's a fun, wild ride with an interesting story and a really cool and likable main character. I have absolutely zero complaints about the show. I've been pushing this agenda for months, and I wish more people would give the show a chance. Number four, Grandpa and Grandma turn young again. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you suddenly age back into your youth? Well, these two didn't hesitate and immediately went on a honeymoon in the first episode. Shuzu and Ine Saito were granted a second chance at youthful love, and they went all out. They were gorgeous, even though they still had white hair, and it was all thanks to that one golden apple. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
From the concept alone, this series is as unique as one can be. It's a distinct blend of a wholesome and comedic story that'll send you laughing, but could warm up your heart at the same time. This anime is that one show that you can watch while chilling on a Sunday afternoon while you turn your brain off and just absorb all that positivity. It has little to no drama and is more of a slice of life romance. Who doesn't love that? Number 3, Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches. Power comes with a peck. A troublemaker and an honor student discover a life-changing secret with a single kiss. They can swap bodies. Reformed bad boy Ryu stumbles into a new life at a new school, but boredom sets in. A surprise kiss with the top student unlocks a strange power. They can swap bodies. Recruited by a student council officer, they join a club to uncover the secrets of other witches with kiss-activated abilities. <laughs> Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches is surprisingly good anime with an actual well-developed plotline, a legit romance, and some interesting characters. The premise isn't unique, groundbreaking, or interesting at first glance, but it's all in the execution. Another thing I liked is that the anime stays true to its lighthearted theme and doesn't try to creep into the realm of philosophy. Not to mention, it has an eye-pleasing, bright, and vivid art. Number 2, Sakura Trick. Having friends is great, but what happens when a kiss blurs the lines and a final year of high school turns into a journey of love, jealousy, and unexpected feelings. Longtime BFFs Haruka and Yu start high school in the same class, but are seated far apart and facing their school's closure. Haruka, jealous of Yu's popularity, gets a surprising kiss that deepens their friendship, maybe a little too much. <laughs> Sakura Trick is a refreshingly different slice of life show. It throws away the concept of static timelines often seen in SOL shows. Romance and comedy come together quite well. This is a rare occasion that I've watched a Yuri genre series, but this series is a lot more than just that. Sure, it's nice to see cute girls kissing, but this series does a great job of not focusing on that. The kisses are well placed so that the story itself is not interrupted. Number one, Change Soldier. Could a nobody graduating into a boring life become a superpowered slave into a sexy monster slayer and maybe even save the world? Graduating high schooler Yuki gets sucked into a monster filled world. He's saved by a powerful all female warrior force, but their abilities only work on women. Seeing Yuki's hidden potential, they offer him a special role on their team. <laughs> Chain Soldier is notable in the fact that it combines a lot of erotic moments, clearly dividing the line between an interesting plot and the whole vulgar part of the show. The anime is full of battles between the characters and their relationships with each other, and the fan service desired by many remains as a cherry on this sweet cake. Speaking of comedy and ecchi, I loved how they incorporated it into the series. This is why it ranks number one in our list of the top 10 anime where they kissed in the first episode. <laughs> 